Hello students that are enrolled in the histology uh, online course Bio 530 with the uh, suffix J and then sections beyond that. More about that later. Uh, this is the new look of Blackboard once you log in with your uh, university ID and password. Uh, I'm logged in as Robert Ogilvy and my student account so I can show you what you will be seeing before you take uh, the syllabus quiz and uh, mark the email check page reviewed and do uh, make another uh, couple steps before you can see the folders that have the module quizzes and the module folders with the lectures and so forth. Uh, you can visit the institutional page where you can um, do various activities. So it's a pretty good uh, thing what they've done. And there's an activity stream here. You can see uh, what's due um, in the near future. Uh, and these are all the uh, the things that that have actually been added as I worked on the course to prepare it. But it also has a, a legacy because I'm I I have a student account in multiple courses that I've worked in the past. Uh, you can also access your organizations. Uh, you can do a personal calendar. Um, you can add your own events, um, et cetera, et cetera. I don't use the the calendar itself because we 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 give you a calendar and also a schedule of assignments. So let's enter the course, and once you do that, uh, uh, then you will see either a list of courses like this, or you can see them with the icons. And of course, I'm I I'm a student uh, assistant in a. Uh, a biology course that's uh, run by Dr. Sawyer, but this is the course you will enter here. It's histology, spring, and we have the generic uh, J30 uh, section, uh, but this course, uh, all this course website will in include all the sections. Uh, J50 are for graduate stu or graduate students enrolled in J50. And J10 is, is the undergraduate at Columbia, and then these others are are various campuses throughout the state. We always have a few students registered at Buford or Aiken or various other places. Uh, this banner that you will see occasionally is a capture from WebMic, which is the primary lab source that you will uh, be using in the course. Um, and the very first uh, page, the default page, you will see is the welcome page. And we've tried to give you, uh, and, and pretty soon this video tour is going to be right here. Uh, right now, <clears throat> I'm currently making the tour. It may be up to 20 minutes, but I'll let you know how long it is when I finish it and post it. So the first thing that you should do is glance over this, but then it's incredibly important that you are receiving emails from the course email address, uh, which is um, bio, B -I -O -L -J 530 at gmail.com. You need to add that to your contacts right away. And all communications should be sent to that address that I will see it and Mr. Anthony Davis, our teaching assistant for the course, will see it. Uh, if we send out a, a mass email uh, and you have a personal issue, uh, please do not respond uh, to that for a personal issue. Uh, make a new uh, email using this address and send it out. And the reason for it is when you send that uh, here, it will go just to us. It will not go to the whole class. I will show you in a minute how you can send an email to the to your uh, fellow uh, students in the class. But this will only go to us, and um, 
And the reason we don't want you to respond to mass emails is that your personal email will get buried in a thread and we may not see it. Okay, so uh, you should go here and I'm going to do this now so that and, and I'm going to take the steps to release the, um, the the module folders and the quiz folders. But before I do that, I want to go down here to the uh, course modules and right now this is all you will see. You will see the information about what you can access here. You will be advised that you need to take the syllabus quiz and mark the email check page reviewed and you will have had to take the sample tests A and B at least one time. And until you complete those, uh, you will not see the module folders that have all of the lectures, the video lectures, the uh, for each module, the created practice quiz and things like that. We do, however, allow you to get a preview of all the lectures in the course here. So if you want to look at the content of any lecture in the course, and they're actually, including the introduction lecture, uh, there are 32 lectures in the course. But beginning with uh, lecture number one, tissue preparation. So you can get a preview of any of these, and when you click on uh, one of these, you will see three columns, the slide number, you will see the slide, and you will see that essentially the, uh, most of the text that is spoken in the video lectures. And that always opens up into a new window for convenience, and you close that, you go back to this. So, uh, and I'm going to go back to the course modules, and again, uh, I remind you down here again that you need to take the syllabus quiz, and as soon as you can go through the syllabus and this course schedules and review the course website, you need to take the syllabus quiz right away. Although we are giving you until a week from Wednesday, September the 22nd. But I would not uh, delay it. I'd take it as soon as possible this week. You can mark the uh, email check page reviewed uh, immediately when you are uh, know that you are receiving emails uh, from us and you have to take the sample test A and B and that is due this Friday at 11:59 p.m. Uh, and those that sample test A and B and uh, the mark the email check page you're going to earn extra credit for that the syllabus quiz is worth 25 points and that is a part of your grade it's not extra credit Okay, so uh, also the module quizzes and exams. Uh, here's information about those, but again, you will not have access to the module quiz, midterm exam, and final exam folders until you satisfy those three uh, criteria. Okay, so uh, let me go through a few more things and then I will go and uh, pause it and I'm gonna take I'm going to mark the email check page reviewed as a student. I'm going to take the syllabus quiz. And I'm going to take sample test A and B. And then I will show you uh, the full course website that will be released. So there's not much more to, to uh, say, just a, a, a few pointers. Uh, the course bulletins, uh, again, that's always going to be the default page. And we will post, bulletin 2, 3, and so forth as the course goes on. If there's very important information that has developed or if we make revisions or correcting errors, uh, we, we, we will probably put it here. After every quiz, we will post the results of the quiz and comments about the quiz, and, um, and then you after every quiz are invited to post on the discussion board uh, any uh, question you may have about a question for clarification. More about that in, in a minute or two. Okay, so uh, also uh, very important, all this information here, uh, do not shortchange anything. We have uh, been teaching this course 
at least for 23 semesters since spring 2011. Uh, we know what we're doing. The course is extremely well organized. You may think, okay, it's just overwhelming, but if you just follow everything step by step. So if you haven't done it, the first thing you should do here is read this information um, and then uh, click on this PDF, the essential information of the course. I sent that by email previously. If you got the email, you already have that. The syllabus here, read through that. I'm going to click on the syllabus here. Uh, and when you go to this, like if you want to know what the labs are like, you just click there and it will go. And if and, and on my case, I can go back to the first page by going like this and then going down like that. If you want to know what the quizzes and exams are like, it'll take you right there. Uh, of course, it's 23 pages long. Yes, lots of information, but also very helpful information. So uh, don't take shortcuts. Uh, go through it, and uh, and then the uh, course schedule and assignments. Oh, I see a link is broken, and I need to fix that before I go on. So I'm going to pause this recording. Okay, here here it is. It was uh, temporarily frozen, but this is the course schedule and assignments. And for each module, you're getting a summation of that. And you will see this same table in each module folder. Um, and then here you, you have the assignments for each module. Uh, be sure you pay close attention to that. And then we have also made a calendar schedule so that you can see uh, an overview of the entire course. Okay, so I think there's sufficient information for you to get make a plan and see the overall picture of the course. Okay, uh, what else? That's probably the, the most important thing. You, If you want to know about the course staff, we've tried to explain, give pictures of the involvement. The, Mr. Anthony is the TA. Of course, I'm the course director. And Dr. Sawyer uh, is the professor of record. He's He is uh, managing another 110 biology course. He's not uh, going to be uh, uh, active in this course, but he can be consulted if necessary. Okay, and WebMic, this is the primary uh, lab uh, resource for the course. Be sure that you uh, do everything here and access WebMic. And, and the, the URL for WebMic is right here. When you click on that, you're going to go immediately to WebMic. And so, uh, and it's very well laid out and explained. There's a video down here showing you the orientation of the web mic and the lab manual, etc., etc. And also, if you have not purchased the lab manual yet, we uh, are providing the first uh, four units so that you can get uh, to work immediately. But by all means, get to the bookstore and buy that uh, lab manual as soon as possible. It's a very uh, helpful guide to the use of web mic. Okay, and the other aspect is uh, BioLucida, and that is going to give you, once you install the viewer and you set up the cloud, to uh, you're going to be able to uh, study supplemental specimens that are dynamic. And I'm going to show you one of those in, right now, just a moment. When you get your BioLucida set up, you're going to see five folders that appear, and each one of those will have a collection that you can study outside of WebMic. In this case, uh, there are eight specimens. The very first one is integument, and we give you uh, a limited annotation. You're going to want to make sure you see the uh, the reference image over here and when you magnify you can change positions anywhere and we have videos that demonstrate this even further but uh, it's very important to set that up so that after you study your specimen web mic you can visit there and I'm going to show you where there are some uh, videos that you can um, uh, take video tours of these uh, to en enable and help and facilitate your study 
As a matter of fact, one of the videos is right here, uh, uh, an orientation uh, to to the lab, and uh, a screencast here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so I'm going to go back over to the main menu. We were in Biolucida. Uh, and this graduate students have a special requirement. And the reason that I see this folder is that I put myself as a student with the graduate students. But if you're not a graduate student, you will not see this folder. Uh, the discussion board, very important. We have uh, the discussion board very highly structured and uh, we will be able to spot any posts that are unread Mr. Anthony or myself and we try to respond the same day certainly within 24 hours but if you post something and you're not getting a response uh, especially by 24 hours send an email directly to us through the bio uh, J530 uh, you know the course email uh, Already, uh, a number of students have uh, introduced themselves, and you can go and learn about your f fellow students. And eventually, I will take the grade column and I'll assign the extra credit points, uh, which are 10 points, and then I'll put in put that to the uh, extra credit column in the grade center. Uh, but right now, let's see. Let's go discussion board. Back to the discussion board. Uh, if do plan to post in the right forum if you have a problem with Biolucida lab specimens, web mic specimens. For every module quiz, we, we have a forum. Do not create more forums. If you have a question about module quiz part A, just post it here. And you'll click on this, and then you'll, you'll respond to the... Uh, to the... Uh, uh, thread that I have created and this is where if you're having trouble on a quiz and after you take every quiz in the midterm uh, we will give you the chance to review it but we do not give you the correct answer if you fail to get the correct answer we require that you you post here or you look up the answer yourself satisfy yourself that you understand it uh, but if you, uh, the best thing is to post on the discussion board and let's have a dialogue and let's help you understand so you don't get to the midterm and you are then not having understood uh, where you went wrong. But we, we require you to do a little work in order to learn if you didn't learn it the first time. Now, all of our quizzes uh, are... We, we give you uh, three chances at the graded practice quiz and keep the highest score. We give you two chances for each module quiz and two chances of midterm exam. And we keep the highest score on those. And you take those within the, the time period before the deadline. You earn the points. The final exam is only one uh, attempt. And all this information is in the syllabus on the course website. But we, we give you uh, three and then two chances at the different quizzes because quizzes and exams can be a learning exercise as long as you're winning the course. The final exam is a summative exam, and it tries to capture what you retained before you leave the course. Okay, just before I show you how the folders will pop up for the module folders and the quiz folders, I want to draw your attention to outside resources. We we have a glossary of terms that do not have all the terms in the course, but it has enough to get you started. But today, if you're stuck about something and it's a little confusing in the lecture, you can certainly post on the discussion board, but, but Google the term. And, and then click on the images in Google because this is another way to reinforce your learning and, and get clarification. But be sure you go through the lecture in the lab first so that you are uh, informed and have some ability to discriminate what is uh, good and true and what is not. We, we have uh, virtual slide exploration, uh, explore that. We have histology on the internet. There are various things you can go out to supplement. 
We have textbooks we recommend and even an interesting source here that I explain that you can explore. Uh, the only required text is the lab manual and, and your real textbook for the course are the narrated lectures and the PDF of the lectures. Uh, here we play, occasionally put some things that are interested and I'll be adding more to this uh, as course goes on. Um, uh, color deficiency, uh, nobody should be uh, hampered that has some color deficiencies and this explains why. But you have, if you have some difficulty, please do send an email and we'll discuss and help you. We even have a, uh, a thing on test anxiety and then of course Blackboard help. It, you can go and uh, as a student help in a navigating Blackboard. And then under course feedback, we're going to have uh, surveys and things and, and some more extra credit can be learned so we can capture your experience. Okay, I've, I've already uh, checked the uh, email check page and you see it says it's reviewed. And now I'm going to go to the quiz exam information. And uh, here you read this important information. And here are the sample tests for extra credit. Uh, if something doesn't show up, you can always refresh up here. You see up upper left where it says refresh. I had to do that because I had that hidden and then I refreshed it and it, there it is. So uh, uh, do watch this video. It was made of a previous uh, Blackboard course, but it's still valid on how to review your uh, uh, test. I'm going to be checking that carefully and if needs revised, I will do that. Uh, but now I'm going to pause this and, and answer a few questions, submit both of these, and then we'll see uh, how it releases the module folders and the quiz folders. I just completed uh, uh, part A uh, sample test. I just answered one question submitted. For me, that's all that's necessary to release these folders. But I, I want to click on the sample test B and, and and you're always given information and when it's due, you see it's due uh, like part A and B, 11.59 p.m. this Friday. So when you begin the test, if you want more territory uh, and you don't want to see the description and instructions, you simply uh, hide it like that, you see. But I always advise opening the question completion status so you can see and you can jump around to uh, various uh, uh, questions. So here is a, a, a question that is, uh, and, and actually uh, this uh, is a, a capture of a virtual slide from the BioLucida collection and that actually is stomach. And if you want to see that at, at larger magnification, all you have to do is click on the little link there the, the, that has .jpg behind it. And I'm going to save this one question and then I'm going to save and submit it and of course I didn't answer all the questions but that's okay. And now uh, I'm going to go to the uh, uh, module folders and uh, and, I, and I'm going to pause this for a moment. Okay I have uh, taken sample test A and B, answered one question each and submitted. I've marked the email check but the folders still not show up so I have to take the syllabus quiz. So I'll be back in a moment. So you will access the syllabus quiz in the module quizzes and exams folder and here it is right here and I'm going to go in and just again um, you're given the dates that it's due, uh, and I got to change this because it's actually Wednesday, January the 22nd. And I will change that momentarily. So see now it's changed to the correct date, and so I begin the syllabus quiz. And again, I don't want all this information up here, so I'm going to. Uh, hide it but I, I also am expanding the question completion status so uh, where can you find instructions how to access web mic and a video tour demonstrating how it works well that's in the lab resources so I save the answer and you see when I save the answer it is I've got a little save sign so let me just skip down to question five 
who has a medical degree earned in China. Uh-oh, i got to change that uh, to our TA. But that was a previous TA. That, that was Dr. Bao. So I'm going to um, correct that question m most likely before any of you take this. So uh, if I say that answer, and usually when you go to the next answer, uh, this is Dr. Sawyer, it saves the answer when you go to the next one, or you can actually click to save the answer. And now you see up here, you can see which questions you saved answers to. <clears throat> These icons used to be much larger in the uh, previous uh, version of Blackboard. Okay, so this uh, video is now exceeding 25 minutes, but I think it's very valuable information, so I'm going to save and submit this. And now I'm going to go to the course module folder. Uh, uh, and you see all the module folders are open. And in each module, you've got uh, repeated uh, not only the assignments, but you also have the learning outcomes for each module here that you can download. And then the module lectures are here. And if you want to watch the video lecture, you're going to click on this like, like so. You're going to launch the lecture. And then it's going to open up into another window. And you have to be a little patient until it starts. And there, there and sometimes you have to click a couple this times. This lecture presents the steps. Like that. And then to close it, you just go like that. And at the end of each narrated lecture, there is a quiz that does not count for a grade, but you have to answer every question uh, correctly before you proceed to the next one. And at the end, submitted everything. And then there'll be a check mark there. And I'll know that you have actually watched the lecture all the way through. And then every one of the lectures has a PDF that you can download. OK, so let's go to the quiz exam folders. And you're going to see that all of the uh, uh, module folders are open. And when you go to the first module quiz, it's not available yet. Uh, and, and I'm going to make a, a, another video of this. But I've already given you some hints in this uh, uh, video tour of the course website on taking a quiz or an exam. So I'll just repeat uh, uh, some of that and maybe come up with a couple other little tips that will be helpful. So I think that's about it. It's now approaching uh, 28 minutes for this uh, tutorial. And I wish every one of you, as well as uh, Mr. Anthony Davis, our TA, he is actually uh, uh, trying to finish up his dissertation and anticipates being awarded a PhD uh, from the University of South Carolina in Biological Sciences uh, by next August. Uh, he's uh, excellent, uh, very helpful, um, and he'll be emailing you uh, uh, Wednesday to give his take on the course and uh, try to encourage you to get busy so that you can be successful and make a good grade. So we wish everybody success. It is our desire that you learn histology and perform very well on all of the assignments and the quizzes and the exams. So I'll see you in the course, and hopefully um, we'll have a great time together. Uh, good luck, and goodbye for now.